China's biotech boom has got me thinking about the extraordinary things medicine could do, like the early detection and treatment of major illnesses like cancer. But is international cooperation important next step to realizing those extraordinary goals? Let's find out from China's first international import expo. Convened at the Expo, biotech companies are among the 1,700 plus enterprises and 150,000 buyers from home and abroad is one of the few crucial industries supported by Beijing. The Expo itself covers a vast space of 270,000 square meters. And as you can see, the Expo is divided into four different color-coded pavilions. So for example, if you want to go to the blue pavilion, it's for automobiles. And if you want to go to the red pavilion, it's for consumer goods and apparels. But specifically, I want to go to the green pavilion, where the medical equipment and healthcare products are, and see what they have to offer. Follow me. One of the companies I want to interview is the Anglo-Swedish biopharmaceutical company AstraZeneca. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. So your company is a biotech company? Yes. Uh, tell us what you do. Uh, actually, we are providing in way drug for Chinese patients. And beyond the drug, we are also provide the end-to-end -end solution, which is from the screening, diagnosis, treatment, and the follow-up to better serve a patient in the Chinese environment. 25 years is how long the company has been in China. So specifically, how are they benefiting patients? For the cancer, the early diagnosis, early treatment will survive a lot of patients' life. So here, actually, we are working with the cross-industry technology and the diagnostic company to find a way to have a more uh, early screening and a more concrete of the uh, diagnosis. We uh, use this model to do the screening in the Wuxi city. Okay. So in Wuxi city, we screen about 5,000 people. We identify eight early cancer patients. So the patient could have like, a, for example, the five year survive rate will increase to 90%. Right now we already expand to more than 12 cities for benefit more hospital. So in the next year we hope we could enlarge this into thousands of hospitals so they can uh, have their community hospital linked with the tier 3 hospital so they can have work together. How important is that there is an international cooperation in China's biotech industry? you get more chance to collaborate with the external and cross-industry partner and so you can quickly test the idea and make it in the real world of the palette for the innovation is not only create a concept but most important is find a scenario which the innovation can make the impact when I spoke to the company's Senior Vice President of Global Medicines Development, he stressed the importance of making people understand what is biotech in simple terms. Biotech is a new way to develop medicines and allows us to identify the root cause of the disease instead of the treatment for the symptom. China has the largest unmet medical need in the world. 25% of the disease burden in China. For example, uh, uh, our drug, Tagressor, it is a drug focusing on a genetic mutation of uh, lung cancer. And with the identification of this uh, mutation, we'll be able to pinpoint the root cause and uh, much less toxicity compared to the standard of care. But beyond this, it gives you a wonderful uh, a benefit so patients can live longer. Between 2014 and 2020, the company says at least six new medicines are being launched and this oncology commitment is seeing AstraZeneca focus more on lung, ovarian, breast and blood cancers. And there could be more to come as Steve Vermont of Merck Life Science China says artificial intelligence can push biotech to innovate further. Where I see a potential move is first how to help research how to do AI in research to, to do faster. Using AI will help to better analyze the results and guide better the research to be faster. The next step is on the clinical trials, how to be faster, how to reduce the number of clinical trials using AI. And the health is critical for the Chinese government 
based on the 13-5 years plan to, to make sure that we can faster release those drugs, faster approve those drugs. Meanwhile, 7.8 billion US dollars was invested into biotech in the first half of this year, and it stands to break last year's record, according to Beijing-based investment bank China Renaissance. Why is international cooperation a crucial ingredient for success? We want to see an open world, and we want to show how we can implement the concept of community with same fate, which is exactly life science futures. Because it's not like you're going to do your research isolated by yourself. You will never really going to find something more because it will be much more harder. You know, just like the U.S., I mean, it's just like the famous quote we heard all the time. You know, if you want to go fast, you go by yourself. If you want to go farther, you go all together. I think the biotech matters because life matters. And uh, for me, my value system is always having human life as the ultimate value. Biotech is important in China, and I hope this episode has been able to tell you a little bit more about how it's impacting real people. Essentially though, it is us who will define the success of China's biotech boom. I'm Josh, stay tuned with China Matters.